Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Beyond the Brush, a video podcast dedicated to everything World Star Nail Artist Competition brought to you by Scratch Magazine. I'm your host, Winnie at Winnie is Awesome, and welcome to episode 12, everybody. Today, we are sitting down with WSNA Challenge 2 winner, all the way from the UK, it's contestant Katie Puddle, everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Winnie. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. So every time I say your name, I have to say it like Harry Potter. <laughs> when you put that on the story, I was like, yeah, I love that. Because I absolutely love Harry Potter. So I'm like, I'm good with that. So good with it. I'm like, I'm like Katie Potter, Harry Potter. <laughs> Same thing, same thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations on your big win. That's a huge yeah, deal, Katie. Huge, yeah. I'm I'm still shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're still like ah, but then there's no time to like celebrate, is there? <laughs> no, no, straight into the next challenge, so let's forget that bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like, yay, congrats. Okay, now move on. So tell us a little bit about you. Who are you and where are you from and all that jazz? So I'm Katie Pottle, or I call myself Katie P. Yeah. Um, I'm from the UK, but I'm currently living in Spain. You're um, in Spain? Yeah, so I moved literally two months ago. Oh my God. Yeah, so yeah, big adventure this year. So a bit shocking, but good. I started beauty straight from school, so quite a long time ago now, like 21 years ago. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit old saying that. Stop it. You're like 12. <laughs> yeah, I always, so I always loved it. beauty, so from a young age, absolutely loved it. Used to even do like my dad and my uncle's makeup, you know, like make them sit there for hours while I just painted their faces. Oh my God, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. So yeah, always loved it. So yeah, just naturally went into, yeah, to do my MVQ level one, two, and three and kind of went from there really. Holy moly. So amidst all the WSNA madness, you decided to move to Spain. Like, who yeah. are you? What, yeah. is, <laughs> what is going on? What are you doing there? Well, it's been a long time coming, to be fair. We've okay. been applying for our visas for well over a year. Oh. It takes a long time now because of Brexit. Yeah. So, yeah, it was something that we decided literally through lockdown and it's taken us, yeah, like I say, over a year. So, yeah, oh, we kind of wow. been prepared for it, but not prepared for it. <laughs> wow. So I'm one day you're just walls. like, yeah, the government's like, okay, you can come. And you're like, guess we're packing up now. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, suddenly now we can go. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get oh our God. visas to like January. So it was like, yeah, go, go, go. Wow. So mm -hmm. are you servicing clients there or are you? No. Okay. Not allowed to work at the moment. Mm, that yeah. sucks. Non working. But hey, yeah, but you're in Spain. Yeah, so. doing a lot of traveling. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I bet. Okay, I see now. Because I was all like, I know in your inspiration video, you're like, oh yeah, it's from my recent trip to Spain. And I was like, oh, I want to go to Spain. So now... <laughs> yeah, now there's some we, beautiful places here. Yeah, beautiful. it all makes sense. I'm so jealous. You went to school for nails right out mm -hmm. of school. When did you realize that that was what you wanted to do all along? I've loved it from like a young age. So yeah. when sort of, yeah, I was due to leave school, I decided to go, yeah, to beauty college and done a two year course and then went into my first job. And I mean, then I did like everything beauty. So I was yeah. doing, you know, sort of facials, massages, everything. Oh, um, wow. And then nails come a bit later. I mean, I did do nails at college, but it kind yeah. of grew because when he back then, 21 years ago, people had French and red was Ew. risky, you know? <laughs> French manicure. Red hurt. was risky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so Ew. yeah, it, it wasn't a, as big a thing now as it was sort of then. So yeah, yeah I feel like the industry's grown massively in 21 yeah. years. It probably yeah. was about 10 years ago, I think, that I really got into to nails properly. Right. 
Right. Uh, yeah, I, I opened up my own little home salon. Nice. And that's kind of where I found a real passion for it. Nice. I got to like choose my own products, my own training. And it just really grew from there, to be honest. So oh, I hmm. love that. So this challenge, challenge number two is all about beauty changes lives and i'm yeah. sure you've learned a lot about the organization and what they do for the beauty industry yes. uh, how has beauty changed your life beauty has been your life for like, yeah. almost like half your life <laughs> <laughs> yeah. almost you all know. your life all your life so how has it <laughs> changed your life i don't know from from just out of school till now I mean, the main thing I think for me is confidence. Um, mm. I, I mean, I'm still not massively confident, but I was terribly unconfident at school. I got bullied a lot. Oh. Uh, so when I left and I went into beauty school and then on to my first job, I just gained a lot of confidence and passion for the industry as a whole. So that I think is the main thing. And my first job, I met my best friend and my husband. So. Oh. That's a winning too. <laughs> really? That's yeah. so sweet. Did, wait, what was he doing? Does he do nails too? No. So <laughs> okay. he, just worked, he just worked nearby. Oh, <laughs> <just> okay. <laughs> Man, can you imagine if like a husband and wife nail duo? Is there one? That would be awesome. Can you think of one? Can you think of a nail couple? I don't think there is one. That is so sweet. So the Beauty Changes Live Challenge is all inspired by a poem, right? A really long poem that is super, <laughs> imp <laughs> you're laughing. It's super impactful and it was written by a robot. I know, I, I can't no believe idea. that. I know, it was like, wow. This is the day and age that we live in now. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know uh, that until I heard it on your podcast. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. It, it was an amazing poem. So Right? And it's mm. so impactful. Lots of people were tearing up at the event when it was being performed. And I can see why. Because it touches on every single thing. Now, tell us... I know you said that it was inspired by, your, by Spain and, and mm. all that stuff. But, like, what... Is there anything else that you drew inspiration from for your I entry? I think when I first started looking at the challenge and reading the poem, I looked into Beauty Changes Lives because I hadn't heard about it before. Mm. And I just found the whole thing really, really inspirational. And I loved that the, the opportunities, they opened up for a lot of people. Yeah. And like I said, on my travels around Spain, and I've seen lots of churches and cathedrals. Right. When you hear about what the stained glass windows represent, it just mm. it just connected the both the both of them to me. So the yeah. opportunities that Beauty Changes Life was given, and what what you know the stained glass windows represent, mm -hmm. with you know lots of love, life, hope, opportunities, yeah. change. Yeah. You are so, I have to say, you are so supportive of everyone, all the contestants for WSNA. Every time I'm like, I see you commenting, it's like, this is so cool on everybody else. So I think your personality really shined through in your piece this week. And that's why, that's why oh, you won. You. Yeah, I love the industry. <laughs> and I think, I think we all need support, you know? Yeah. I think it doesn't matter who you are, how big a following you have, how much experience. Exactly. We all yeah. need a bit of love and sparkles, yeah. right? <laughs> I love and sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> this industry is yeah. built on love, basically. Like it's a yeah, passion. Love and passion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that it's so great that, that you exude that energy. I love it. Now let's Thank talk you. about your entry here Ooh, mm -hmm. look at this that's the big I, poem <laughs> yeah the the really long poem <laughs> i love the fact that you actually went in and highlighted the words that stood out to you i thought that was really smart now talk me through this you went big in scale this week like yeah I mean, we've seen like huge work from you, huge work, <laughs> big, like big in scale work from you. But this one really, you build a whole damn castle. 
We were yeah. like, oh, that's a huge, huge castle. <laughs> Why did you decide to go so big in scale? Well, this is my first kind of mixed media piece that I've ever done. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted it to represent the meaning. So I wanted it to be big and powerful. Mm -hmm. And castles are anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and a little bit when you, you know, go big or go home, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I know. I was the whole entire time I was like, oh yeah, she's going big. She's going big or, she, or she's going home. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not going home. You're not going anywhere. I no, love that. No. Yeah. I absolutely love and I don't know if you recall Beth saying, but she's saying like it's really smart that you actually made the nail tip the stained glass. She's seen it done many times before, but she's never seen it like made into actual stained glass before. So bravo. Is there anything on this piece that was particularly challenging for you? Certainly the, the centerpieces, because I wanted them all to be representing or looking like glass. Yes. I made each one out of Acrogel. Uh -huh. um, and that's quite challenging because yeah. the one that I use is particularly runny. Oh, so okay. yeah, that that was probably the hardest part was each centerpiece yeah. being made out of Acrogel, I think. Wow. Why did you choose Acrogel? Like there's so many it's other what I ways. use. Oh, um, okay. I haven't used acrylic in a long time and I'm sensing yeah. that that's probably the best thing for competition work. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's what I've always used, so just feels natural to me to use it. I think especially with a scale this big, you have to make so many little components and mm. time is money, right? By the way, Megan from BCL is obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> with, with this logo. It was so funny. She was freaking out. I need to make like a mini one and send it to her. <laughs> yeah, she wants it on her desk. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear. Now, out of all the components, what's your favorite component that you made? Oh, I know. I that's a hard one, isn't it? One. <laughs> Ooh, that's as hard as ask me to choose my favorite product. <laughs> oh, I don't right. know. I think I'm going to go with the eye, I think. Yeah. The yeah. eye, I really love that. That was, I'm, yeah. I actually know? didn't really know that, which I'm gutted about. Right. Yeah, because that, yeah, that was really cool, and that was quite tough to make. But you're yeah, I wish I put that to, in. To yeah, you're gonna have to do another video on yeah. how you make the eye. <laughs> yeah, with all the spare time that you have. <laughs> yeah, of course. I have yeah. all the spare time at the moment. <laughs> no, I really love the fact that you paid so much attention to detail, like the wall, the marbling on the wall, the bricks. Anybody could just put it in different colors, but you actually put texture in it and the marbling, just yeah. so brilliant. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, you shed blood and tears into this piece. If you yeah. had the chance to do it again, <laughs> would you do the same thing or is there something you would change? I mean, I would do the same thing because it obviously was a winning piece, so that's good. Um, <laughs> yes. I think, yeah. I think if I was going to change anything, I would maybe spread the windows out slightly mm. and make it not maybe not so bulky looking. Um, right. Maybe not have right. the centerpieces overlapping each other as much. Yeah, I think if I if yeah, same piece, but maybe just yeah, finish I a little that. bit. I love that. Did you <laughs> use Christmas lights? Yeah, like the tiny little battery fairy lights. Oh. Who doesn't love fairy lights? Love fairy lights. Now, are these things hard to get in Spain? No, they gotta be yeah, everywhere, fine right? With that. Yeah, yeah, fine with that. Products a different thing. <laughs> oh really? Oh no, lights the easiest. Lights thing. everywhere <laughs> <laughs> compared to products. Well, yeah. I hope you don't run into any issues with products and all that stuff. Now, were there any? challenges you encountered now that we're halfway through the competition like this is like i always say it's week two but truthfully it's what a whole month now you've been competing <laughs> i was gonna say yes definitely not week two <laughs> <laughs> it's challenge two <laughs> yeah, challenge so what, 
what are the challenges you've encountered so far? For me, I think I always have a big issue with decision making. Mm. I do spend a lot of time pondering my ideas, which is not great when you've got a time restraint. Yeah. And time management, to be honest, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely been cutting it fine on the last couple of big challenges. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah, I they're my like... two big things that I'd love to improve on. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like all nail artists and nail professionals are... <laughs> what is it? Lauren said we all have undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's true. It's the creative brain, isn't it? It just doesn't stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And most like, of my inspiration comes at night and I wake up like, yes, oh, great yes. idea. <laughs> right? You dream about it. And I, yeah. unless it's like, I need to, I'm a huge procrastinator. I won't be able to do things until like it's absolutely go time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm right yeah, there with you. Like we've got to get this done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, yeah. oh, it's due tomorrow crap. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should I should do something. No, it's, a, it's like, I feel like that's every single contestant. Well, I mean, if you're really good at time management, first of all, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also, nice like... To stimulate. Who are you? Everyone who says they're good yeah. at time management is lying. Lying, I swear. <laughs> now, how do you deal with creative blocks? Like, I'm sure this is a very stressful competition, right? Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Aside from going outside and see beautiful buildings. and <laughs> Yeah, that's generally what I do. Get away. Yeah, get out in the fresh air is always a good one. I love exploring new things. So that's always nice too. I think you do need to learn when you need to stop and yes. have a break. Yeah. That's really important, I think, to know your limit. Because yeah. when you push yourself, it doesn't work, does it? It just... No. It's no, no point. And drinking, Winnie. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Wow, that's every single person I've talked to is like, wine helps. <laughs> yeah. Wine and gin, it's great friends. Oh, you're on the gin train too, are ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's good. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not good, but I guess it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, anything you can do to help you de-stress is important throughout the competition because when you're stressed, it shows in your piece right it's really funny because you can almost see when the point someone just like fell off like they just decided not to try it well, you can't you can't force creativity can you exactly so if you're having yeah. that block you just need to yeah do whatever it is you do to unwind i suppose and yeah. come back when you're fresher yeah like mm. allow yourself that time and i think that's really smart it sounds it... so good coming from me and my husband's gonna go yeah okay <laughs> you've been doing that yeah <laughs> oh husbands they're so funny you're gonna need to tell me all about your husband because when i was competing my boyfriend was like supportive but he also knows when it's time yeah. to quit he'll be like get away from your team yeah move, move. yeah yeah get yeah. away because he'll hear things like flying and it's like, ah, <laughs> ah, swear words, this and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I swear. Like, it's time to go. Like, he knows. <laughs> and then you go on, you know, screen to say like, oh, it was so wonderful. I had a great time. <laughs> and then they, you see them rolling their eyes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you did oh, not, in fact, have a great time. <laughs> so funny is this your first time competing no yeah first time really yeah wow. never never competed before holy moly oh yeah. what a beast so your piece i was like oh yeah it's giving me beauty and the beast vibes right yeah. so she made a beauty and she's a beast <laughs> thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Why did you decide to compete for WSNA? I definitely decided this year I wanted to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. um, I think 
I've got to the point where I wanted to see what I could do mm -hmm. uh, and I haven't ever competed. Mm -hmm. WSNA looked really, really sort of new and exciting. So I thought, yeah, why not? Give it yeah. a bash. Do you feel like you, you grew throughout the competition? Oh, 100%, yeah. I think that's the main thing for me with competing. I'm not mm. like fussed about winning. I just love going through each stage and what I come up against yes. and what challenges I get, what I can learn from. Yes. Uh, I've been loving the feedback because I've never had someone or a lot of people critique work like that. So I, right. it's been lovely just to sort of learn and go, right, yeah, that's what I can do or try yeah, new yeah. things and how to do those things. So yeah. yeah, I really feel already in the few challenges that my work's changed completely. Yeah. I'm looking forward I, to looking back. I can, I can see it. Like we can see your growth. Although it's only been a short four weeks, you are taking the judges' comments into consideration and you can see it in your work. It's evolving and it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. By the end of this competition, you're going to look at your work and you'll be like, whoa, I yeah. did that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of looking back because already yeah. sort of starting this challenge or challenge three, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, I can see the changes. So that's lovely, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's a huge benefit for me yeah I think so I think that that's why a lot of people compete is it's sort of like a training program almost isn't it so let's it see is, yeah I yeah. yeah completely agree yeah what is your advice for someone who is thinking of entering WSNA next year just do it and yeah, absolutely like just do it <laughs> you've got nothing to lose give yeah. it a go yeah, yeah. I mean I knew a few people that entered this year or wanted to enter and certain elements worried them. Like the videos, you know, are not for everyone. Yeah. And they're not as scary as, I mean, they're scary, but they're not yeah. as scary yeah. as you think they're gonna be. And I would just say, just give it a go. You've literally got nothing to lose. Yeah, seriously. I think for the video component, once you figure it out, once you have that format that you know what you're comfortable with, it just all falls into place once you have yeah. that figured out. I'm so right? glad I ended this year, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. What <laughs> can we expect to see from Katie Pottle going forward? Mm? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, as in challenge-wise or just the future? Anything, anything. Ooh. Yeah, the future, I'm currently, well, not currently, because I'm a bit caught up with WSNA, yeah. but I'm doing my AET to hopefully teach. Nice. That's, that's my goal. So I released a few workshops last year, just online ones, and they went down a storm. So I, yeah, hoping to do proper teaching now. Oh. <laughs> I think you reach a stage where you want to help others. And I love, I love it. I love helping others, even just, you know, yeah. over... Instagram or yeah. natural thing for me to go on to, I think. That's awesome. I was going to ask you, like, do you have any hints what you're going to do for challenge three? But no, it's okay. <laughs> well, I can't tell you that, can I? Yeah, I know. I was like, never mind. She's not going to. When is this going out? <laughs> if this comes out after, then that's fine. <laughs> I'm just curious, okay? <laughs> No winnies, no tea. <laughs> oh man. What's one thing that people don't know about you? What do you Ooh. think? What's one thing that people don't know about you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm quite an open book. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah. we all are. <laughs> there's like, yeah. there's like, I think when you're creative, you put a lot of yourself out there, don't you? Maybe a lot yeah. of people don't know, like now wise, that my nickname is KP Nuts. What? <laughs> KP Nuts? Tell me more about yeah. KP Nuts. It was just when I got married, I became <laughs> Katie Pottle. Uh -huh. And our best man thought it was hilarious. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're KP nuts. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit nutty. Creative nutty. Yeah. 
I mean, we are, we're all nuts, right? Yeah. Like, whatever. Um, I'm just going to call you KP nuts going forward. <laughs> okay, so we like to ask big, huge questions at the end of mm -hmm. all our, are you ready? At the Ooh, end of yeah. all our interview. Let me get myself ready. So this is, <laughs> oh, this now is I'm scared. <laughs> this is your Miss oh, America. I think I'm losing no. you, Winnie. I think I'm losing you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm still here. This is your big moment, Katie Palto. Mm -hmm. Why should you be a world star nail artist? Wow. Yeah, that's a big question, isn't it? Yeah. It is. um, that's a hard one. Uh, I'm going to just carry on with I would love to win to inspire others to do the same, to challenge themselves and push themselves into competition. There you have it. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Have you made any friends with the other contestants? I mean, Nixie yeah. rose to the Facebook group at the yeah. start. Yeah. And we're all in there. So all the 21. Oh, good. The 21 of us that have got Facebook. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're all in there. And yeah, everyone is so lovely. Chatted to Monica. Gemma Dawson and I have been friends for a little while anyway. I love to see that. that I know, it's is... so nice. I didn't think that would happen in a competition, but it's yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. I think it's building a nice community and with the support that you guys have for each other, it's just beautiful to see. Well, congratulations on your big win again. Thanks, um, all the judges are just head over heels over your entry jan thought you were incredibly detailed and precise so oh that's lovely keep thank up, you keep up the good work and... thank you i will try <laughs> <laughs> katie thank you so so much for being on the podcast today i love thank spending you. time with you yes absolutely you too. And we wish you all the best in the competition. I Thank can't... you so much. Yay! I can't Love wait to bottles. see. What... <laughs> there she goes again. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you come up with next. It's going to be so good. I already know it. Now, be sure to support these hardworking nail artists and follow the contestants journey on social media at Scratch Magazine at CND World. And remember to help send your favorite nail artist to the finale by casting your votes for the challenges each week at www.scratchmagazine.co.uk slash WSNA. Now, Katie, tell us if we want to stalk you, where can we Ooh. find you? <laughs> Instagram is definitely the place I hang out the most. And it's at KTP underscore nail artist. Awesome. And I'll be sure to include all that information in our description box. So be sure to follow us at beyond the brush underscore podcast on Instagram to join in on the conversation. Keep up to date with everything WSNA and spread the word about it. Until then, are you ready? Love and sparkle. sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>